I just saw a video from this girl who said that her sister completely disowned her after she said, I don't want kids, I want money. Okay, let's talk about it. So basically the older sister who has now disowned the younger sister has three kids. And younger sister says she has watched her older sister's life just be completely blown up by having these kids. She has no money, she has no time, she's unhappy with herself. Like apparently the older sister is always calling her parents, trying to hit them up for money because she isn't able to afford like daily living expenses. Even though before four kids, she had a good job and was making a good income. Basically, younger sister says she has watched her older sister's quality of life just completely decline since having kids. And for her, she's like, hey, that's not something I want in my life. And even though older sister is struggling, apparently she is always harping on younger sister. When are you going to get married? When are you going to have kids? And younger sister has been a little annoyed because she keeps telling older sister, I don't want kids. I am happy with my life the way that it is. I want to travel. I want to work my way up the corporate ladder. And older sister just keeps telling her, oh, you'll change your mind. Now, apparently this all came to a head at dinner one night when older sister was yet again pestering younger sister. When are you going to have kids? When are you going to get married? My kids need someone to play with. And younger sister finally snapped and said what's been on her mind, but she hasn't really wanted to say out loud for a long time, which is I don't want kids. I want money because I don't want your life. And older sister got Hey, she completely snapped in that moment and said, what, you think I ruined my life? Who are you to say that to me when you have nothing? And apparently it has been months and they have not spoken since. So I want to know, what do you guys think? Because here's the thing, and trust me when I say this, because I know from personal experience, kids absolutely change your life. They're expensive and not even in just like formula and diapers and sports when they're young, because you have to miss work when they're sick and they are sick a lot. You got to pay for camp and care when they're off and you're not like during the summer break. And let's not forget about the motherhood penalty where women who have children earn less over their lifetime than women women who don't have kids. What I will say about this is stop trying to force people to have kids that don't want to have kids. Stop telling them that they're going to change their mind. People can have different values and that's okay. I know society loves to try to put us into a box of like who you're supposed to be, but if that's not you, here's your validation. It's okay. You don't need to do it. This includes things like buying a house, working a corporate job, or retiring at 65. Here's the crazy thing about life. It doesn't have to be the way that it's been played out for us. But here's the thing you need to remember. People who fit into the box are going to be mad when you don't want to fit into the box. When I first started telling people that I wanted to retire in my 30s, the response that I got from them was that I was lazy. But here's the thing. I don't dream of labor, and I think most people probably don't either. But not everyone is willing to admit it. When you do something different and you follow a different path, you create your own unique path. It makes people uncomfortable because it makes them confront their choices or lack of choice and the ways they did or did not take action on the dreams in their own lives. 